Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Today we're going up to West Yorkshire and Lees and the Northern Monk Brewing Company and this is their Obelisk. This is part of a kind of collaboration with a local band in Leeds called the, was it called the Hyde Park Brass Band. They're local to Leeds and yeah, another one of these peel off kind of cans they actually do a lot of kind of collaborate with a lot of photographer well photographers artists and there's this one and there's all the people there with my finger is of all the people they've collaborated with and yeah you can go on Spotify if you're on sp such things or apps um, which I am and I'll, I'll have a listen to them after and yeah, you can listen to their stuff, so that's really cool. There's a load of information on the back there that I won't go into, but but yeah. It's a lovely kind of, this is the, uh, the actual label that way around, so yeah. Pretty damn cool stuff. Put that back on and we'll crack the beer open. This beer is a pale ale. 5.7% ABV, 20 IBU, so a low bitterness there. This is brewed with Citra BBC, which is Boston Beer Company's Citra, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Simcoe Equinot as well. So, yeah, 440ml can. This is their 14.01 on their uh, patrons project. They do so many. I've actually had this beer before when I was up in Leeds. Uh, well, it's actually in Shipley, the Shipley Triangle. Um, I might have had it before then, I can't remember. I think I did have it there, and I bought a, a couple of cans. Uh, check out my good friend Peter's review of this, and also my good mate over at Hopzine. Done a review of this recently. I, if I remember, I'll put the links down below. So yeah, I've had this before, but yeah, I was... You know, I'd had a few beers that day, so it's nice to try it when you've not... Or review it certainly when you've not had too many beers so yeah I've had this a few weeks sitting in the fridge so yeah one finger just off white slightly tinged lemony coloured head although it looks white on the screen but yeah nice kind of yeah, medium kind of on the scale orange insular light yeah no light coming through proper murky looking beer bit of carbonation there it's getting aroma kind of like yeah pineapple apricots slightly dank musky if you like bit of yeah melon slight slightly sweet maybe maybe like uh, watermelon or something like that not watermelon honeydew melon <sighs> slight kind of bubble gummy mmm smells delish let's give it a try Cheers. Real tropical one. So 5.7%. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah, pineapple. Juicy pineapple at that. Definitely a little bit dank. Might have a touch of pine. Not too much though. There's a little bit of kind of There's a little bit herbaceous, there's a little bit of earthiness going on there. Not too much, but yeah, mainly tropical, mango, pineapple, grapefruit, citrusiness. Fleshy blood orange. That kind of thing. But not it's not overly kind of it's very mellow, it's very smooth. There's no kind of sharpness to it. 20 IBUs kind of says it all, really. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm digging this. It's beautiful beer. It really is good. It's going down so well. Not really picking up the ABV. You don't really in these beers. Certainly below 6%. If they're, if they're made well, which nah, most of them are these days. <sighs> Excuse me. Bit of carbonation there. There's all the juice coming out. Cloud and if you don't all that gunk in the trunk, as they say, just leave it in the can. But sometimes, I well, most of the time I think that adds to the flavour. So yeah, there's a little bit of a chunky monkey, just... I don't know where it is now. It might have sunk to the bottom, but yeah, you can see. See that cloudiness? Swirling around like a, a thunderstorm or heavy rain in the distance on the horizon but yeah this is um, you can see the, some of the bits there now there you go it's quite sweet it's quite sweet definitely more sweet than bitter but it's one of them kind of juice bombs you get for a pale ale. That's I mean, this, that that could easily pass as an IPA to me. But whatever. Um, great beer, great brewery, and I love the work they do. Really do uh, appreciate any kind of beers I try from this brewery. I've been there two or three times to the um, the refectory, and yeah, love the place. Almost to the point where I, I wish I lived a lot closer to the brewery than I do. Because I buy a lot of their beers. Really good stuff. Um, in terms of rating them for me on this, I I can't, I don't know if I put a, a score on untapped or not before. I had this once. Let's have a quick look before I reserve jar. I know what I've got in my mind. Is it going to uh, let me see what I've put? I didn't, I didn't um, do a score, which is good in a way because I don't, you know. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten beer. Four point five on the untapped scale. It's a really, really nice beer. Uh, so another fairly new, newish beer in the last sort of three or four weeks. Been around. Um, yeah, check them out. Got a decent playlist for Northern Monk. Um, check out my good friends. Peter over the clues drinker and my good friend Rob and any other of my friends I'll do a little search and I'll put the links down below if they have so uh, but yeah great brewery great beer thanks for watching then let me know if you've had this one before this is Obelisk from Northern Monk part of their patrons project this is their 14.01 parallel thanks for watching again and I'll see you on the next review cheers